Another 151 New Zealanders received New Year honours today. Sarai Pia Barryman is to become a dame for her contribution to football governance, as will Pania Tyson Nathan, who's dedicated three decades to advancing Maori development. New Zealand also welcomes another three knights in this year's list, including former Speaker of the House, the Right Honourable Trevor Mallard. Actor, writer and director since the 70s, Ian Mewn will also be knighted, as well as Dr Scott McFarlane, who's transformed the treatment of children with cancer for the past 45 years. And Sir Ian Mewn says his New Year's honour still hasn't quite sunk in yet. The 82-year-old is now a knight companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit. His career spans four decades and more than 50 roles, as well as directing and screenwriting credits. Sir Ian says one thing went through his mind when he heard the news. I thought, oh my God, I, I, my kid's going to call me the dad. A reminder that even small changes can make the spread of COVID-19 less likely. JN1 is a sub-variant of Omicron that's quickly become the most common strain of the virus across countries like the United States. The latest COVID-19 figures from Te Whato Ora show the average number of daily cases is 1,097. That's up 3.5% from last week. Epidemiologist Professor Michael Baker says even opening a window when you have gatherings can make a difference. A bit of ventilation and just being conscious of that and that can make all the difference. Because this virus hates good ventilation and it hates being outdoors. It just doesn't transmit very well at all in those environments. Anyone wanting to bring the new year in with a bang is encouraged to attend a public fireworks display. Fire and Emergency is appealing to people not to let off any fireworks they may have stashed away from earlier in the year. Community Education Manager Adrian Nacy says at one point last New Year, firefighters were fighting 15 fires across the country at the same time. He says last year there was a fair bit of damage to properties and several communities had to be evacuated in the middle of the night and they don't want a repeat of that. There are also restrictions on open-air fires in many parts of the country so people are encouraged to check the rules in their area. And Gisborne is bustling right now as thousands let their hair down for one of the biggest festivals in the country. More than 20,000 people are in the city for the 21st Rhythm and Vines, a boost for businesses following severe weather events earlier in the year. Daytime duty manager for Wharf Bar and Grill, Linnea Burkhart, says they've been really busy the last couple of days. She says the majority of their customers have been R&V goers. It's definitely good to see people in town. Everyone seems to be in like high speed and everything. Rhythm and Alps is also underway in the south, around 10,000 people attending the Wanaka Festival. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.